Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Mushoku Tensei episode number 9. Alright, the previous episode. It like ended in a weird way. Like the whole, you know, the whole place was blown up. I'm guessing that was something uh, like the place was blowing up because like it was kind of like an explosion happened. And the thing that was hovering around on the sky, like like i'm not sure like they showed us a lot of things like a lot of new characters uh, there was this um a guy with a dragon scale i cannot remember his name that guy and the dragon and there was this little um <laughs> little like girl a demon kind of thing with horns who with her imaginary army i'm guessing <laughs> like her name I, I can i think i can remember her name her name was something with kishi i cannot remember the full of it but i only remember kishi that and there was this another person who was like sent to kill you know rudy but uh like because of Ghislaine, because of Ghislaine said that no like i, I like pledge that this boy is not the cause of this uh, because of that like uh, he did not kill rudy and went off that and a lot of other things so yeah like it like ended in a really like i'm not saying it's a cliffhanger but it kind of is you know like the way it ended so let's see how this goes like what happens now like uh i'm not sure so are they even okay like that's a big question so anyways uh, without further ado let's get started with episode number nine of mushoku tensei all right i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go Oh, is this? Yeah, it's his original body. Oh, did he die again? Oh my god. So yeah, now what? Like, he kind of said. Um, who the hell are you? <laughs> yeah. It, it looks like a truth from Full Metal Alchemist, you know? Man God? Itogami. Man God? That's a real weird name. The God for the ma mankind? Okay. <laughs> wow, this God has an interesting personality. <laughs> um um It's Orochimaru's voice actor. Oh, mental form. Oh, it's okay. Uh, um. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with this god? Hmm. Okay. Six sided word. Six sided. Oh. Oh. Dragon God. Oh, there are multiple gods. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, okay. 
Wait, what? Oh, so that's why like, he's saying like the demon continent or whatever. Ma mana disaster. So he got teleported? Strange in danger sign. Oh, okay. So that was a teleportation spell or whatever. Technically, it was not an explosion. Okay. All right. Help him. And he's gone. Whoa. Wow, amazing. Look at the amazing sky. Okay, so he was teleported. Like, uh, like is Eris over here? Like, she was also, you know, close to Rudy at that time. But, uh, like, technically, it doesn't mean that she'll also have to be teleported to the same place. Okay, where's that man he was talking about? Okay, Eris is here, okay. So, Ghislaine is also here? Or not? Oh, this... Oh! Oh, that's a spell! Yes, spell they're called, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, like... Okay, no, no, Rudy, calm down, like... The god said that he, like, rely on him and help him. Wait, what is this place? Wait. Oh, he can, yeah, he can sp speak the language. Oh, okay. What, 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 what is that in his hand? Yeah, Ghislaine, where is Ghislaine? Okay, so obviously like, Ghislaine was not with, like Rudy was just touching Aries, so I'm guessing that's why they got teleported together. That's true, you know. Well, technically, like, he is not from this world, so I'm guessing, like, uh, the whole spares are scared, scary. That thing is not so much affecting him. And he's also, like, a grown, -up, grown man, you know. Rigid, Sperdia, okay. Okay, I, I doubt I'll, I'll remember his name. I'll need to, you know. Listen to it for multiple times. Yeah, like hmm. Hmm. Oh, th that's good. Why is he helping? Oh. Yeah, I was thinking like people do not usually trust them. So why? Oh, okay. Oh my god, so th th this... Oh my god, calm down! Oh my god, she's freaking out! What? 
Oh, uh, oh, that, that, that's a normal reaction. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh my <laughs> hmm. <laughs> wow, that was quick. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking like, where does does this like rumors come from? There must be some kind of an instigator, you know. Or maybe he's the only good spare, or most of them are bad, or something. I don't know. As he said that our reputation is already in status, so she like he knows, and there must be some kind of a you know actual reason for it. Oh wow, amazing place. <laughs> How do you even, you know, go from one place to another? Like, it's all like desert and hills. Oh my god, like, I'm feeling hot myself, you know, looking at the sun. Damn it, like, look at this. Damn the sun, it's... Wait, does that even work, you know? Making water and drinking it yourself? Like, I guess that works, you know? Because mana and water are completely... Oh, oh, wow. Wait, okay. Oh, that's an eye. <laughs> wow. <laughs> hmm. Big brother. To our region. Oh, whoa, all a turtle shell. <laughs> oh, this is a human. This is a human, isn't it? Okay. Hmm. Um. Okay, so. Oh. Me, me good. Oh. Oh, dead to me good. Yeah.
Oh, this is um. <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. Their hair color. Wait, are they related or something? Or not? What? Wait, wait. I thought that was his br her brother or something. Wait, that's that's a dad. Wait, what? And wait. Oh yeah, Roxy was a demon. I, I kind of forgot it. Okay, okay. I was thinking like, how did Roxy's? Okay, I'll talk about it later on. <laughs> wow, the hair color are all same. My goddess. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, what will be her age? For forty four. Okay. Um. <clears throat> <laughs> wow, oh, that was unexpected. <laughs> Okay, who is this? Like grandfather or Roxas or some? Hmm. Okay, Rudy. <laughs> yeah, that's a question. Okay, why is he helping them so much? Like, is it all because of... Yeah, obviously I thought like that must be the case because... Like, people usually do not... Um, wait, what? Oh, so, okay, okay, so that's why. Then we are... Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Like, uh, yeah, like now it's impossible, but maybe someday, you know, someday. Yeah, what was that about? Okay. Okay, your face is not so, you know. Okay, that was Laplace's. Oh. Dark side of history. Here. Hmm. Our spirits are so. Oh, oh okay. So that's okay. So that's why he has a spear. From right from the 
Okay. But they controlled them or something? Like you made them berserk? Yeah, like... Hmm. Yeah, and that reputation spread. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, it's his... It's his, it's his sons. From his curse, so give his life. Oh, oh, he's the leader. Okay. Regret, yeah, that's one thing that he knows, you know, Rudy. Yeah, I was saying that, like, you know, maybe some difference someday. Okay. Oh, damn, <laughs> oh, 102, <laughs> okay, okay, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> with a straight face, no. Okay, so they start their journey to go back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is... Yeah. Okay. A chance encounter. Wow. Okay, so this went in a completely different direction. Um, like, okay, I, I was not expecting this. Like, a teleportation spell, like, that was the last thing on my mind when the whole thing happened previous episode. The whole place blew up. And I, I was thinking like maybe, you know, uh, like Rudy like shielded um, Eris. Like I, like I thought maybe like Ghislaine would have come and like, you know, saved them. Or, or something must have happened to save them. Uh, or, or like not a teleportation spell. That was the last thing that was on my mind. So... Okay, so I'm guessing Ghislaine is also fine. She was must be like teleported in some other place. And because like, you know, Rudy was shielding Eris, two of them were like, they were in contact with each other. That's why they got teleported to the same place. <coughs> okay, so. 
And oh, another thing we like saw is that God. Um. Okay. I'll, I'll like let this end. I'll talk about it. Like quite a few things to talk about. Okay, that's the end. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, that's the end. Okay, so this episode. Now, first of all, uh, the first thing that we see is this guy who looks like Truth from Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. You know, Truth, and the guy with like, like this guy is a, a bit you know taller, but still like, kind of the same. And um, like he like so this guy like he called himself Man God or Hitogami. Man God sounds weird, so I'm not going to like say that. I'm going to refer to him as Hitogami. Like Man God, what does that like? That's a weird like sounding name. So no, no Man God. <laughs> Hitogami. That's more like it. Okay, I'm going to call him Hitogami. So Hitogami, uh, like he um. So like by his title, Hitogami. Hito means man, and Gami or Kami means God. Like he, it means that he is the god for humans. So, and as far as we can, you know, follow from his uh, conversation, there are multiple gods. I'm guessing. So, uh, one another god he mentioned was the dragon god or something. So, the dragon god. Like so another thing we got to know is that the dragon god made uh, like Rudius reincarnate in this world. The whole Isekai thing. Uh, the dragon god was behind it. All right, so like it's really you know quite curious that why did the dragon god like reincarnate him? Anyways, I'm sure we'll get the answer later on. But yeah, so yeah, talking about Hitogami, he um he's quite you know um goofy, a goofy character, like the way he was you know moving around, doing stuff, and his uh, goofy kind of voice. Yeah okay so like he gives uh, uh like rudius a few pointers and says that you know when you wake up you'll see a person in, in front of you uh rely on him and help him which obviously rudius did uh he woke up and the guy was his spirit now ruijin what was his name i forgot i already forgot you see like his name is quite you know <laughs> yeah, rigid. It wasn't it. Yeah, okay. So rigid. So he now here's the thing. Like we got the backstory that he said. Now obviously, like uh, like I'm not sure. So that means like the whole thing with uh like Laplace. Only the people uh, from the Spells tribe and you know the Roxy's like whole tribe, they know about this thing. So does that mean that uh, the other humans do not know about this whole situation that yeah Laplace was the one who did this or maybe they also know but you know uh, obviously fear is uh, like quite a big thing so even if they know it like they are still you know fearful of uh, the spirit because you know they kind of uh, became ruthless and killed off their own you know allies and also their enemies they were like on a rampage because of that they are like even though they know the truth they are still afraid of him and uh, obviously like you know uh, rumors kind of get exaggerated so like few people like said this kind of things and like it spread as rumors and it got exaggerated more and more and more and now like it's a world where like whenever someone talks about the spirit they like get scared and they say that oh my god spirits are like extremely dangerous uh, like monsters they'll kill you like and they also like use uh, like <laughs> like spirits as a you know uh, whole thing to make children fall asleep like you know when we were a child your like uh, parents would used to say that like go to sleep or like you know demons will come for you or something like that like like they became such a big thing that uh, the whole rumor became so exaggerated that like <laughs> like parents used to scare to the children with uh, the you know examples of spells so I'm not sure maybe like either of it you know maybe they or maybe they don't know the actual thing that happened 
so yeah but i doubt that's the case you know because uh, i'm sure like someone must have told this whole situation and explained this whole situation to the humans like you know roxy is there like people who like the roxy tribe like they were also there like they could have explained it or i don't know we'll also like i'm guessing we'll also get the answers eventually but yeah and so this guy like so uh, oh also another thing like like i was really curious as to why is he you know helping rudius and elis um so as far as i can say like because like his you know children died in the whole uh, like massacre he is so you know um kind to his children because i'm sure like it rem reminds him of his own children so that must be the case so that's why you know like he helped them so much and yeah and so protective of them and yeah and also okay so one thing i'm quite curious about you know like sylphiet so like sylphiet is a demon isn't she so like her hair color is so similar to the you know spells but oh no maybe maybe not like okay i think i may i'm like i'm thinking about it too much you know like okay like you know what i was thinking i was thinking maybe you know he, she was some kind of you know adopted child or something maybe she herself is a spell and doesn't know or something like that uh, maybe uh, like you know uh, her parents kind of kept it a secret from her or something because like their hair color is so similar you know or may maybe not like you know like uh, like we kind of got explained that uh, her i think she said something about her mom being a half demon or something i cannot remember but something along those lines so yeah like uh, okay okay like i'm you know like i think i'm mistaking about it like no she is a normal you know normal demon not a spit okay yeah and <clears throat> so yeah okay and then comes another part of this uh, like episode where we get to meet uh, roxy's tribe now here's the thing <laughs> the funny thing i guessed that they were roxy's you know somehow related to roxy but i did not guess it because like you know i knew that like i like the whole thing that roxy was a demon kind of slipped my mind you know so when i looked at them at first i thought that what the hell like each and every one of them has roxy's hair color uh, like i was really curious about that and then like they started talking and then uh, like his dad uh, like roxy's dad said that oh where did you get this from and like pointed at rudis's necklace that's when it struck struck me you know i thought that oh like he is mentioning the necklace the necklace comes from roxy and he's mentioning it that must mean that he knows about the necklace and that must mean that he it's somehow related to roxy and uh, obviously like their whole like, like hair color is a big giveaway that they are like somehow related to roxy mm. like if one of them had that hair color i could have said that okay like maybe that's you know the his natural hair color but each and every one of them had the same hair color <laughs> similar to roxy so yeah and then like he said that uh, we are you know related to roxy and um like and then i thought that oh yeah like rocks and uh, now then i thought that like okay so i understand they're related to roxy why are they here like this is a demon you know demons uh, like continent and spells are like here and then i realized oh so yeah roxy was a demon like she said that in the first very first episode and it struck my mind and like i, I like i don't know like why i forgot about it must must be because you know roxy doesn't even look like a demon like she looks like a normal human so yeah and at the beginning i thought maybe this was a spell you know uh, like a village of the spells and these like uh, people are also like you know living with them and by the end i kind of understood that no like this is the, like roxy's tribe roxy's like people live here uh ruijerd uh, he is the only spirit from here so like he is like the only one uh, i'm not sure where the other spirits are maybe they are somewhere else or something so yeah 
and another question i had was like after looking at widget i thought that maybe like this guy is only the exception you know the exceptional uh like spared who is really you know um uh empathetic towards children and the others maybe the others are uh, like as scary as they are told to be now i'm not sure about this because obviously they kind of got you know on a rampage because of laplace's trick but um like i'm not sure how they would you know react to humans after that like humans are scared of them but uh like what about the other way around like humans when they look at them they get scared but what will happen if they you know come into contact with humans how will they react that's the question you know uh, i'm not sure how they would actually react i'm not even sure if they're going to show us any other spirit uh, like other than um widget uh, because like they are you know going towards the human continent now and like traveling towards this maybe they will you know meet some kind of other type of demon or meet some like you know uh, take shelter in some other village you know demon village or something like they have to you know like they cannot always keep walking like that's impossible you need to rest somewhere someplace so yeah and yeah and the most surprising thing in this episode was that was Roxy's dad like um <laughs> i thought who i thought like maybe it was Roxy's brother or something my god like but yeah they are all like at the same height so maybe they do not you know grow up they are i mean like by not grow but like obviously they're growing up by age but i'm talking about their height maybe they're like you know the same <laughs> and like you know roxy's parents are the same height as roxy or maybe roxy is shorter than them i'm, I'm not sure but yeah they kind of, kind of seems at a similar height and <laughs> okay and their house were very you know unique like they had tortoise shells <laughs> upon them like maybe uh, like it keeps their house cool you know like this is the like kind of like a desert uh, extremely hot maybe that keeps their room cool or something yeah <clears throat> yeah and then um we get to know about the whole uh like backstory of uh the spets from Luigi and she tells about the spear now the spears are considered the souls now i think like that was not metaphorical you know like you know like people can might say that it's metaphorical but i do not think that's metaphorical because he said that uh because their spears were changed they became you know this kind of uh different person and started killing each other so like he like it must be like literal in ret literal sense that their spear really embody their soul so, or something like that maybe so yeah and he said that his son sacrificed himself and gave him this spear to save him and uh, so the spear that he's using is his son's spear so i'm not actually sure how that works you know like like the spear is supposed to be his son's soul so how could this like you know son's soul save his father i'm not sure how it works but maybe somehow it works i'm not sure but anyways <clears throat> and yeah and then they like go out and um they get a few things um okay uh yeah here it is I'm, I'm just looking at what did they get there was this i'm not sure what that is is, is that a machete or, or a, kind of like a cleaver and that's that's not a sword no it's like uh it's, it's a weird combination of a like sword and a like a machete isn't it i'm not sure what it's actually called but yeah and uh, obviously like uh, like it won't help rudy like rudy is not you know so proficient in swordplay so like alice is going to use it and yeah like rudy has his staff so like uh, he can use that 
and uh, Alice also get a, got a weapon, you know, she can also help. But like, I doubt like Luigi will uh, like allow them to fight. Like he seemed pretty protective of them. And as he said that children won't like won't need to fight. I'll like protect you guys. So, yeah, he seemed pretty serious, you know, uh, really uh, like serious and uh, good person. So yeah. And yeah, that was it. That was this episode. Now we have no clue about what the hell happened there, you know, what the hell happened to Ghislaine and how are you know Eris's parents reacting? Like uh like we can like like Rudy kind of said that uh like who like who knows that how Paul and Zenit are reacting, like his own parents. But you know, uh, I think the one thing that we should be like thinking about is how like Eris's family is reacting, you know, because Paul and Zenit are like are in their own village. Like I'm sure, like the uh, news that this whole thing happened in that place would, you know, like reach there, and it will take a time time to reach there. But obviously, the thing happened just beside Eris's house, like Eris's vid like house. So the first thing that the first people that are going to know about this is Elisa's family. So I'm more concerned about how they will react to you know like maybe they are like uh, like organizing some kind of search party to go and like do something maybe who knows. And obviously like Ghislaine has also been I I'm guessing Ghislaine is also like teleported to somewhere else. I'm not sure like if Ghislaine was not teleported then he, like she would go uh, and like inform the you know uh, Elsa's family about the whole situation but if Ghislaine is also teleported then like she also cannot do anything she must be somewhere like we don't even know where she is like she might be in this demon continent somewhere or maybe somewhere else like who even knows but she like it's Ghislaine you know like she can handle herself she was like once an adventurer so yeah She's pretty strong, sword, you know, sword god. Yeah. And also another thing is like the thing in their forehead. I thought that was a stone. No, that was that was his eye. Okay, like that's a new thing. We got to know. So that was an eye. So like spells have three eyes, that means. Yeah. Mm. and is there anything else no that was it i'm guessing yeah that was it so yeah it was really good to you know uh, meet roxy's uh, parents and roxy's tribe for the first time and uh like i was it was I, like i was really surprised to suddenly like see <laughs> like them in this place but like thinking about it yeah like uh like she kind of said that we are demons and we live in the demon continent so like it's not so you know um surprising it shouldn't have been so surprising but i forgot about the whole situation that she was a demon <laughs> so it kind of like you know went out of my mind and i got surprised so much <laughs> but yeah and um yeah that was oh also the age we got to know so that means um okay roxy is 44 now and they said that they would probably live for 200 years mm, so that means uh in human age i'm guessing uh roxy is okay 44 that means Roxy is almost like 19 or 20 in human like like comparing it to human age you know like their lifespan is 200 and I'm just you know for convenience sake I'm like uh, like thinking that yeah let us just take humans age limit as a hundred so it means a humans age like the double the humans age uh, the uh, like Roxy's uh, tribe lives double the human age so that means if Roxy is 44 now like almost at 50 that means she must be like you know 20 or 19 in human like comparing it to human age so, okay like basically yeah she is a little older than roxy in human's age like <laughs> in their age they, she is like extremely older like like almost 30 years old more like older than roxy but another thing 
comparing the real ages you know roxy and uh, uh, Ro uh, roxy and um rudius they're the same age so because like you know like when he got reincarnated he said he was something 35 or something and now he is 10 years old like 45 now he is that means in his real age so yeah they're the same age that means <laughs> like that's a you know thing to uh, that i noticed anyways so yeah that was it that was this episode this was um mushoku tensei episode number nine uh, it took a it took a you know completely um, different turn i was not expecting this really like them suddenly getting teleported and meeting new characters like this but uh yeah like you know the slice of lifey aspect has been gone I'm, I'm i think like i kind of like commented about this like the whole like slice of life thing that they were like you know kind of having fun and everything like living their normal life there was no like a demon god killing kind of situation <laughs> like usually in isekai that's the thing like you come to a different world you have to kill the demon lord or something and you meet friends on the way that's an isekai you know so like <laughs> like i was really like like the whole aspect of the like slice of life aspect really like intrigued me so but also like yeah now now they are like just going back to the continent like who knows maybe uh like in the next episode we'll like get another time skip and then you know they'll be back in their hometown like i'm not sure like they usually like the, like this anime at least like does this kind of time skips quite you know randomly so i'm not even sure if in the next episode like i'll not even be surprised if in the next episode we see they have reached you know their home like <laughs> reach their home so yeah <laughs> like who knows uh who knows like i'm not sure but yeah anyways so yeah uh, thank you guys for watching so that was episode number nine uh, if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to share i'll be sure to check them out so yeah guys um, i'll be back with another episode of mushoku tensei next week same time so until then goodbye and have a nice day